another video on my on TNA on this current situation and its future. Now, as you all know, Hogan made his TNA debut last Monday, drew the highest rating in TNA, since TNA started. Um, besides Hogan coming in, there was a lot of surprises. Jeff Hardy came back to TNA. He had signed with them after, you know, he's been convicted of charges of the drug possession. And plus, we had Shannon Moore come in too as well. Rick Blair, Sean Morley, aka Bob Venus. Uh, I do love that I just returned too. We also have uh, Rick Blair. Rick Blair made a surprise appearance. He is now in TNA. Now, the way is what I have to say about TNA and this where it is right now. Right now, TNA is could be going heading toward the biggest it could ever be as big as WWE or even close to it. It's TNA is right here and WWE is right right here. But in order for that to happen, TNA is gonna have to do a lot more changes to what they do right now. The way I see it, what they need to do, go live to go leave impact leave Orlando, Florida and go all over the US. Do impact all over the US. Don't just do it in Orlando because that's why they don't have enough people watching it. Because they want to see it more in person. In Orlando, Florida, they're only getting two or 3,000 people. Maybe that's, I don't know, depending. Plus, it's a free show to get into. They, if they want to get big, they got to go out and make it out in public. Don't just go out, go out and do press conferences. Do a show. Dear at Madison Square Garden for what? A press conference. Do a bit better by doing a show in Madison Square Garden. Put down for Madison Square Garden. Do a, a Staples Center. Do that, the AT&T Center in San Antonio. Do the Reliance Stadium in Houston. Do all these big stadiums so that way your product can get well known. But that's, what, that's the way I see that they're not doing. And if you want to get to where WWE is right here, they're gonna have to do that, and not only that, look who they still have from the old WCW days, Scott Steiner. He ain't doing nothing. You got Hall, Waltman, Nash. You got, uh, and then you got a lot of guys from WCW who. Kill WCW. Nash, Hall, Bischoff, uh, uh, Vince Russo. Vince Russo and Eric Bischoff are the reason why WCW died. WWE kicked their ass from 98 on to the end of the WCW era. Believe me, if WCW could have kicked WWE's ass like they did for the near two years, the year and a half that they did. WWE probably would have died, and they didn't. So now, if TNA wants to get rid of WWE, they're going to have to do what WWE's doing. See, WWE, TNA, they go overseas, and now they do our tours. When they're in the U.S., they do house shows. That's all they do. WWE, they do house shows, pay-per-views. They go all over the U.S. They go all over the uh, world. Not only that, they do their shows and they do Raw in, in Japan, in uh, England. TNA, I do our, our shows and over their tours, but they don't do nothing close to what WWE is doing. Do Impact in J Japan, do Impact in, in uh, England. Don't just do a tour, do it live. Do whatever you gotta do to make it as good as WWE. You gotta get to where WWE is. Now, back in WCW, from what I remember, they didn't go to Japan, they didn't go to England like WWE did. But look at them now. Look at TNA, they're doing that. But the way I see it, they need to get to the big stadiums. Now, can they draw a big crowd? They can. But the thing is, they can't even fill up a stadium of 5,000 people. They could get draw in half. They could put, get a stadium of a thousand people and only get half of it, half of it filled up. So the way I see it, TNA, go out, 
make it bigger, do a big stadium, do a big show, take your best pay-per-view of, of the year, put it in the biggest stadium you can do it. Do it at Madison Square Garden, Reliance Stadium, do it at uh, Staples Center, do it at do it at the AT&T Center, do it at any big stadium, MGM Grand if you have to, do it there. And believe me, once WWE, once CNA does that, they're going to be on WWE's level, or if not, they're going to be higher. See, a lot of people I know that are wrestling fans, they only know what TNA is. I show them a DVD and they're like, wow, there's something different compared to WWE's product because WWE has the same old crap for the past five years. They watch TNA, they love it. Now they see a lot of old faces, they don't like that, but what they like it's the young talent, AJ Styles, Samoa Joe, Daniels, Pope, Desmond Wolf, uh, Hernandez, and all these young talent are perfect. TNA, do this now before it's too late. Because with the time, down you go. Peace.